Hello everyone! In this video, we will be changing a graphing form or vertex form of a quadratic equation to its equivalent general form. In this little note that I wrote down here, this is our graphing form or vertex form. Notice that the h and k here is the vertex of this quadratic equation. Well, on the right side here, we have the general form, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. There is also another video that talks about changing general form to graphing form. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. But today, the uh, arrow goes from the graphing form to the general form. So that's where the arrow is pointing. So let's take this first example right here. So we have this um, uh, graphing form or vertex form, y equals two parentheses x minus three squared plus one. The vertex for this quadratic um, equation or the vertex for the graph of this equation would be on three, one. So I'm just gonna rewrite it, y equals two parentheses x minus three squared plus one. So the first thing that we are going to do is to expand this. This x minus three means that there are two of them. Now please take note of this because others would miss this part. They would think that they're gonna distribute the two to both x and negative three. That is oh, not the no. correct way to do it. We, we can't distribute this because this is supposed to be squared. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as y equals 2 since there are two of them. I can go ahead and write x minus 3 and x minus 3 plus 1. And then from here, we can go ahead and um, expand this some more, simplify this using the um, area model. So then we can go ahead and... Um, Rewrite this um, using the area model right here. So I'm gonna have the box. So that would be x minus three and x minus three. So this would come out x squared. X times negative three is negative three x. And then we have negative three times x is negative three x. And then we have negative three times negative three is a positive nine, which means that this part right here, so only this part, will be equal to, so we're gonna um, combine like terms, so that would be x squared. We can combine these two diagonals right here since these two are like terms. So that would be negative six x, and then we have a nine, so that's gonna be plus nine. This means that this is supposed to be plugged in here. So then our um, equation would come out to look like this. So I'm just gonna write the, it down here. So that would be y equals two. So instead of writing x minus three squared, we're gonna write this out. So that would be x squared minus six x plus nine, one at the end right here. So th there should be one right there. So we're gonna distribute the two to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So I'm distributing this. Now, please take note of this because others are going to think that, oh, I'm going to distribute the 2 to the 1 as well. That is not the oh, correct no. way to do it because 1 is not inside the parentheses. So we can't distribute the 2 here. So this would come out y is equal to 2 times x squared would be 2x squared. 2 times negative 6x is negative 12x. And then we have 2 times um, positive 9 is a positive 18, and we have a plus, uh, that's 18 plus 1. So then we can combine like terms, that would be 18 and 1. So then the final equation that we have in general form would be y is equal to 2x squared minus 12x plus 19. Because again, we added the 18 and um, 1. So this is our general form for this graphing form right here. On the side, you will see the, uh, the graphing form in red and you will see the general form in blue. When we graph both of them, you see that they actually sit on top of each other, which means that these two equations are equivalent. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the 
um, problem here. So again, first we are supposed to expand this. So this would come out y is equal to, there's going to be two of them. So that would be x plus 5. And then we have x plus 5 minus 7. You can use FOIL method for this, but we're just going to use the um, area model. So we can go ahead and uh, use area model to get the product between these two binomials. So I'm going to show the work down here. So that would be um, 2 by 2 box. And then we're going to write the x plus 5 and then x and 5 here. So x times x would be x squared. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times x is another 5x. 5 times 5 is 25. So then we can combine like terms. So this would come out x squared. And then remember the diagonals are like terms. 5x plus 5x is 10x. So I'm going to write 10x right there. And then we have a plus 25. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this original equation right here where we expanded this two binomials. This would come out y is equal to, again, these two shall be put in here. So that would be x squared plus 10x plus 25. And then we still have the minus 7 at the end. So that's minus 7. So then we can combine like terms. The constant 25 and 7 shall be combined together. So then the final answer would be y equals x squared plus 10x. Positive 25 minus 7 is a positive 18. And so this one right here is the general form or uh, this one right here is the general form of this um, graphing form right there. So as you can see on the side, there's a decimals version of the graph of these two equations. The graphing form is in red and the general form is in blue. And as you can see, both of them are sitting on top of each other, which means that these two equations are equivalent. They just come in different form. This one right here is the uh, graphing form. This one right here is the general form, but they are equivalent. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Let's move on to the next one right here. Again, it's pretty much the same thing. We are supposed to expand this first. So this would come out y is equal to, we have the three, and then um, it means that there are two of them. So that would be x minus nine squared. Again, this is where others miss. They think that they will distribute the three to each of them, the three to the x and the three to the negative nine. That oh, is no. not the correct way to do it. You can't do that because it is being squared. So since this is squared, you cannot distribute it. So that would be minus five. So I'm going to expand this. This would come out y is equal to three. There are two of them. So x minus nine times x minus nine. And then we have a minus five at the end. So then we can go ahead and multiply these two binomials right here. So we use the area model. So that's going to be a two by two box. So I'm going to show the work down here. So that is x minus 9 and x minus 9. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 9 is negative 9x. Negative 9 times x is negative 9x. Negative 9 times negative 9 is a positive 81. So that means if we combine like terms, that would come out x squared. And then remember the diagonal are like terms. We're adding them together. So that would be a negative 18x and then plus 81. And this is the one that we plugged in here on this part only. So then this equation would come out to look like this. So that's going to be y is equal to three parentheses. This will come out to look like this. So that would be x squared minus 18x plus 81. And then we still have a minus 5. So then we can go ahead and distribute the 3 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. Again, please be careful. You cannot distribute this to negative 5. Because others, uh, others will distribute the 3 to the negative 5. Oh, no. That is not the correct way to do it. Because the negative 5 is outside the parentheses. So it's not included within this quantity. So then we can go ahead and uh, multiply this. So that would come out y is equals to 3x squared. 3 times negative 18 is negative 54x. And then we have 3 times 81 is um, 243 
and then we still have a minus 5, so then we combine like terms, so we have 243 minus 5, so then the final answer for this would be y is equal to 3x squared minus 54x. Now, we are going to subtract 5 from 243, um, that would be plus 238. So this is the general form that is equivalent to this graphing form right here. On the side, you will see the Desmos version for these two graphs. The uh, graphing form is in red and the general form is in blue. As you can see, both the red and the blue graph on Desmos match up, which means that these two equations are equivalent. That means they are just the same. They just come in different form. This is in graphing form or vertex form, and this is in general form. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.